How we interpret meaning from text depends very much on its physical representation. The size, shape, font, ratio, color, and general aesthetic design. This video will explore how to make an impact with location typography. Film titles are often used as visual storytelling devices, taking on the personality of a film and preparing the audience for the kind of experience they are about to have. This can be described in relation to both screenplay and art direction as part of the movie's visual narrative. Typography can also be used to convey additional information within the film. One familiar example of this is location titles. These are usually placed in the middle, at the bottom, or in the corner of the image and help situate the viewer in a specific place, particularly if the narrative moves across a number of different locations or time periods. Some films use this opportunity to be creative, bringing the design of the typography in line with the aesthetics of the image. For example, in Quantum of Solace, we see this in the various culturally specific font styles. In Atomic Blonde, the use of bright but grungy spray-painted titles reflects its retro neon aesthetic. One trend in design is overly large or exaggerated typography which has been used in a number of recent films and television shows to foreground the setting as an important aspect of the story. We're completely untethered, Bert. This is a dream scenario. In A Way We Go, each location card references the film title itself as the characters travel away to various cities across America. Here, typography is used to emphasize the movement from one place to another as a transitional device. It represents the character's desire to escape from their circumstances and find for themselves a place to call home. This transitional focus is also the case in Up in the Air, a film that situates the viewer from above and which is intrinsically tied to notions of transience and vagrancy. In Captain America Civil War, the story shifts from one country or period of time to another in a fairly conventional fashion but with far bolder aesthetics than previous films in the Marvel series, which have tended to follow traditional title styles. Very recently, Mindhunter has also used the boldness of large typography, almost to excess, in order to emphasize the importance of place in the unraveling of each case. It also draws attention to the sense of motion and repetition as the two FBI agents venture from state to state. Where typography appears to function more than a mere narrative device is in the television show Preacher. Once again, it follows this particular trend of large and somewhat overindulgent white typography in order to indicate a particular time or place. Where it differs is in the capacity of the titles themselves to enhance and add to the narrative and to bring their own personality to descriptions of the image. This is figured in the sheer size of the typeface which is positioned in the center of the frame in order to draw particular attention to the words themselves. Ellen Lupton describes this manipulation of scale as creating hierarchies and contrast, which help create visual contrast, movement and depth. This relationship between the viewer and a visual object such as typography can be determined by the distance between them. The closer the visual object, the more intimate the relationship. Here the titles become integrated into the frame of the image and begin to take on the personality of the characters and eccentric aesthetic style, not just in the visual representation, but also the phrasing and expression. Rather than just providing factual information about the on-screen events, it's almost as if the titles are from the perspective of an omniscient narrator. They aren't there to just instruct or educate, but instead to tell a story. The importance of textual design is also reflected in the opening credit sequence, where the imagery related to each character is masked by the typography of the associated actor's name, in a more integrative approach than the traditional text-on-image design. In many ways this focus on typographic aesthetics isn't surprising, as Preacher is an appropriation of a comic book series, a medium in which visual and textual design are equally prioritised. The integration of text and image therefore becomes a prominent part of the storytelling process in both the comics and television show. 
and allows us to see the importance of space, time, and character as integral in the world building of the series. Titles and typography are often overlooked in their contribution to visual storytelling. Location titles are commonly used in film, yet are rarely memorable. And this is why creative, unconventional, or bold typography can make such an impact. In these instances, we can appreciate how the design and phrasing of words can be critical to the expression of cinematic space and time. Someone, we can... What are we with? No. Thank <laughs> you.